Hi, I'm Catherine Stelges, owner of the Think Live B team with Keller Williams Realty at the Parks in downtown Orlando. I'm here with your monthly market update. So if you watch our videos and follow us, you know that we're always looking back a little bit in time when we're analyzing the numbers because we get the stats for the Metro Orlando area on the 15th of the month. Um, and those are for the previous month. So although it is March, I'm actually looking at what happened in February, and that gives us an indicator of where we're going in the future as we head into the second quarter of 2024. Somehow, I don't know how it's already that, that time of year. Uh, but looking at February 2024, we had slightly less sales than we did the same time in 2023. And when I say slightly, it was 66 less sales than the same time the year before. So not significant, um, but definitely a little bit lower. Uh, we also had a decline in the number of pending sales. Um, that was down slightly as well. We had just under 4,000 pending sales at about 3891. The number of listings is the one that's significantly more. We had our listing inventory has gone up or a little over 8,500 available homes for sale at the end of February compared to last year. That's a lot more homes for sale. And so that shifted things slightly in terms of the balance of, of who's got more control over the market, right? So what we're seeing is um, things are still moving at a pretty steady pace. There are buyers out there and people are getting good prices. We're just seeing more negotiation happen than we have in the previous few years, understandably so there's more options. So with 8,500 homes for sale though, that's still not enough to, for, to really keep up with the demand. Um, that puts us at about 3.95 months of available homes for sale. So just under four months, we consider that still to be a strong market really. We're seeing a lot more negotiation though happening during the inspection period. So as a home seller, you really need to be realistic going into this that, you know, you can't say no to everything. You're going to have to be somewhat flexible um, in order to keep a deal together because buyers are being picky with things. Um, because again, they feel like they have more power to do so with more options available to them. So it only makes sense that they feel that way. They also are paying a, a higher interest rate than we've seen in the past. And so um, they're stretching their budget and they want things to be in tip top shape. So we recommend, you know, get a pre-inspection, do repairs in advance as much as you can, and then just be prepared that things still might pop up that you didn't even know about that were missed or that happened from the inspection period to that. Everything can be fixed, and most of the time these fixes are not expensive. So I know it seems like a hassle, but it's worth it to negotiate a little bit. We can also sometimes do credits to buyers versus um, actually doing repairs, so there's always ways to work through that. Home buyers, um, something to note, although you have more options and it does feel like the market has cooled a little bit, we are tracking um, on a weekly basis, we're tracking other stats throughout Orlando and the number of home showings is up 27%, meaning 27% more showings than happened three months ago. So buyers are jumping back into the market as we head into the spring and summer selling season. That's normal, that's our seasonal adjusting. So we do expect that the market will continue to pick up as we head into these spring and summer months. The only thing that would stop that from happening is the interest rates if they if they were to go up, um, that might stop some people from getting into the market that would otherwise start shopping right now. So as a buyer though, you still have like a small window of opportunity to get out there and maybe get and negotiate a good deal before the rest of the buyers start jumping in for spring and summer selling season. Um, all in all, the prices did not go down year over year. I know a lot of headlines make it seem that way. What they're referring to is listing prices are being reduced at higher rates than have been in the past few years. However, the actual sales prices, the median price of homes that sold went up over 5% year over year and the average price is up as well. That is pretty common. A normal appreciating market is gonna go up three to 5% every year. So we're still seeing an increase in the actual sold prices. So if you're waiting for prices to drop or something like that, that's really not on the horizon. Um, in, if we're looking at actual data and stats. I know everybody hopes, hopes so, but really looking at the data, there's no evidence of that. There's enough buyers here. Um, unless we were to get a, a slew of new listings coming on or rates really jumped up, um, I don't foresee us as we head into spring and summer seeing some sort of declining market uh, unless something major changes, right? And of course, we can't predict the future. We are only looking at what's going on right this moment and saying, based on the evidence here, things are probably gonna continue to be strong at least through the summer this year. 
because this is our hot selling season and activity is picking up. There's more showings happening. There's more offers happening. So if you have any real estate needs, you know, always to reach out to us. I have been doing this for 18 years and I've got all the answers for you. And my team would be happy to help you navigate all the different changes that are going on in the market. So give us a call and we'll help you out.